Hi, it's Dr. Pat here, and we're looking at matrix inversion. But before we actually get to matrices, let's kind of take an example, background information about just regular numbers and equations. So take a moment to solve 2x equals 5. Okay, your moment's up. Hopefully, you got uh, x equals 5 halves. So our goal here was to get the x by itself by getting rid of the 2. How do we get rid of the 2? Probably most of my students have done divide both sides by 2, because remember it's an equation, so you've got to do both sides. So we divide it by 2, but technically really what we've done is we have to multiply both sides by what we call the multiplicative inverse of 2. And technically that's 1 half. So dividing by 2, we know we get the same result as when we multiply by a half. So with numbers, you know, it doesn't really matter. It's a half a dozen here, 6 of the other. And so numbers multiply by a half, divide by 2, we're okay. But now let's take a look at matrices. So A, X, and B are, are three matrices. matrices. And so we want to, once again, our goal is to solve for X. So we want to get rid of the A matrix. So what we want to do is we, again, want to do the same technical. We want to multiply multiplicative inverse of A. And so, but wait a minute, I just got to let you know that unlike numbers, a, the inverse of A here, that's what we're using this little power symbol here, uh, the power negative 1 does not mean fraction for matrices. It's one of those areas that just not transfers well, generalizes from what we do with numbers, not necessarily what we do with matrices. So basically what we're done is we're stuck with A inverse. So this is A inverse, the inverse of A right here. And so we're stuck with that. We do not divide these kind of matrices here. Okay, so how do we solve this? Well, basically, what we're going to have to do is multiply both sides in this, uh, both sides with the inverse a, and it's got to be in the same position. So that's key here. So we want to get x by itself, the x matrix by itself. We want to get rid of the a matrix. So we're going to multiply by its ident or its inverse. Excuse me. And then we have to multiply the other side by its inverse as well. So A inverse again. So so basically we got to multiply both sides by the same thing because it's an equation and since we want to get rid of the A matrix we're multiplying both sides by the inverse of A. Okay so it reduces out um, not technically cancels, they kind of cancel each other out, but they reduce out. Basically, just like in numbers, that's like a 1x, but it's the special um, uh, matrix, the identity matrix there. And so we technically have a 1 in front of that x, but in all purposes for what we're solving for, x equals, and then whatever result we get when we multiply the inverse of a times b. So that's technically what we're going to be doing. That's the matrix algebra that we have to play with. Just remember, unlike numbers, we can't divide. So we always have to play with the inverse. Okay, so here, let's do an example here. Got a nice system of equations. Want to solve this using inverses. We do have another technique using the row reduce echelon form, uh, using technology or Gauss-Jordan technique. And so we do have a, a techni other techniques to do this, but I just want to do an example of this using matrices and the inverse. Okay, so when we're looking at these, we're going to break this matrix up into three, ma or excuse me, this system of equations, we're going to break up into three matrices. Okay, so our first matrix that we want to make is called the coefficient matrix. That's basically making a matrix of all the numbers that are in front of the x's and the y's. All right, and the z's here in this case. And so that's what we've got there. So all the coefficients there, they're listed now in my matrix just like, uh, just like before. The x column, the y column, and the z column. And then I'm also making another matrix here. It's the variable matrix, the x matrix. So it's just the listing of all the variables. And then we basically have the constant matrix over there on the other side. If we were to actually do the multiplication, row times column here, of these uh, matrix, we would actually come back with that system of equations. So it still works out good for us. Uh, it'll come back to the, the same results. Then what we want to do to solve for... Um, to solve for x here, we want to multiply both sides of the equations by the inverse a. So that's what we're shooting for. So we've got a system here of the a matrix, the coefficients, our variable matrix, and then our constants. And so we want to get rid of this a matrix, so we're going to have to multiply by the inverse of that matrix. 
and on your calculators <clears throat> or any technology, you can do that using the uh, uh, the negative one, the the uh, inverse key there. Okay. And so when we do that, this is with our setup here. Uh, the A inverse and A cancel each other out, reduce out, become the identity matrix. And so we just left with the variable matrix on the left-hand side, and then we've got these two matrices that we want to multiply. First, calculate the inverse, and then multiply the result there. And so when we do that, we'll get this as our result. Okay, now I recommend using the technology for this, so check out a uh, nice little video on how to use uh, the technology to type that in, and then we're good to go. And so that's our result. Okay, now just a quick little recap. So when we're doing with numbers, when we're playing with numbers, uh, we've got our number two, our inverse of that number are in terms of multiplication. So I'm only looking at in terms of multiplication, not doing addition or subtraction, but in terms of multiplication, the inverse of that number is basically the fraction of that, you know. And then when you multiply these two things, you get the identity number, which happens to be one for multiplication. So when we do, uh, remember that uh, negative 1 here, 2 to the negative 1, really means that fraction, but it also means the multiplicative inverse. So that's kind of, this negative 1 has kind of two meanings for us math geeks. And so when we're looking at inverses, so we... Uh, when we multiply the uh, matrix and its inverse together, we get the identity matrix. And remember, the identity matrix is just a diagonals of ones and zeros everywhere else. So it's the uh, matrix version of the number one in a way, because it's got all ones and then zeros. And so that's basically what we're playing with in order to solve our equations. When we want to get rid of a matrix, we have to multiply by its inverse. So that's the key when doing uh, this type of problem. Thanks and have a good day.